This is a video demonstration to show you what settings are available to you in the settings menu in RegCure Pro. So the settings button is located in the top right corner of the program. If you click on that, then you're presented with this view here. First thing we recommend going to is the general settings section. It has settings such as how the program behaves, that kind of thing. We recommend having a look over this and setting it to your preferences. In general, you can pretty much set these however you want. Uh, but we do recommend leaving the create restore point before fixing items box checked. And we also recommend the notify me when malware processes are detected. Now there is a bit of a hitch here. If you have launch application when Windows starts and automatically start scan when application starts, that means the program is going to start a scan every time you start your computer. Since the scan restarts sometimes at the end of the scan, this can cause an issue where the program continually scans over and over again. So we recommend leaving one of those two unchecked so that this doesn't happen. The next section that we're going to go through here is the privacy scan settings. This is how to configure the privacy scan to, say, ignore a particular application or something that you don't want to have it clearing out. So when you click on it, then you're presented with this view here, which shows you all the items that it's planning on clearing out when you run the privacy scan. Of course, if you want to skip the entire thing, you can just uncheck it from the overview screen as outlined in the previous video. If you want to uncheck a particular item, you can expand a category by clicking on it and you'll see the individual items within that category and you can uncheck each item. Usually for web browsers, we recommend uh, unchecking stuff like saved form data and passwords if you want to have the web browser remember your password. However, if the web browser remembers your password, that's usually not as secure. So you can leave that checked if you want to make sure nobody else will be able to get your password out of your web browser. And this does apply, of course, to Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Google Chrome, which are the three most common web browsers. There is a section here for the registry scan settings as well. This is basically to exclude a certain part of the registry. Normally, you don't need to touch anything here unless something goes wrong. There is the junk file scan settings here as well. This will outline what files are going to be cleared out by the junk scanner as well as what areas. By default it goes over the whole computer for these kinds of files. You can see here that there's a list of file extensions that it's looking for. Anything with one of these extensions is going to be cleared out. If you want to remove an extension, say have it excluded from the scan, you can click on it and click on the remove button. If you want to add an extension, then you can type it in there and click on the Add button and it will add it to the list. If you want to change the location that the junk scan goes through, you can use this section in the top here. If you click on Add Item, you can add a specific folder to the list. You can use the navigation window here to choose the folder. You can also click on an item and click on the Remove button if you don't want that item to be scanned. If there's only one item on the list, then the remove button will be grayed out because you can't scan nothing. Uh, if you don't want to use the junk file scan, you can disable it from the overview screen, just like the other sections of the scan. And there is, of course, a restore defaults button down at the bottom here. If you change some settings and you can't remember how it was before, you want to put it back the way we normally recommend, you can click on the restore defaults button and it'll change it all back. There is also the ignore settings part of the menu. This shows you a list of items that you've added to the ignore list. If there's an item that you want to have it start cleaning again, it'll be on the list here. You can click on the item and click on remove and it'll take care of it for you. Or you can remove all if you want to clear out the entire list. There's a remove all button in the bottom right. And that concludes the video about the settings menu. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact our support department or have a look at the other videos in this series.